is good, YouTube? Quinn Wade Basketball Analysis coming to you on a quick video. I wanted to let you guys know I got some new merchandise available, not just t-shirt anymore. I got different type of t-shirt, different type of shirts and logo that you can purchase on my spread shirt and also hoodies now. We have expanded and added more to the channel and more merchandise for the brand. Thanks for supporting. It will be in the description and the links will be in the comment section below. Thanks for helping me and supporting the movement. Quinn Wade, Basketball Analysis. I'm going to check out the video. Video Game Dame has got that bank in Portland. They've been giving this man so much money. They love giving Damian Lillard that paper. And that's the part that's crazy. They, they love giving video game that paper because they just gave him an extension, what, two, three years ago. Everybody went crazy because they never seen the contract like that. Damian Lillard has been able to live up to that contract because he got him to the Western Conference Finals with some help of his teammate, backcourt mate, um, CJ McCollum. They did something that they never was able to do. And on top of that, they didn't even have Nurkic. Um in that whole playoff run. So that shows how scared they could be in the future if they add the right pieces. But they was a 53-29 team, um, a respectable team. They finished second in a division, ended up going all the way to the Western Conference Finals before getting swept by the eventual Western Conference champions and the Golden State Warriors. Um, they add Rodney Hood. They, they trade for Ken Baysmore. They got Myers Leonard. They add... Um, Nazir Little, they get a healthy Nurkic. We don't know when he's going to come back, though. And that's the crazy part, but he, he has been injured the last couple times in the playoffs. Hopefully, they can get a run where things go their way. And with the West being wide open, we don't know what's going to actually happen until we see it. So um, I think this is going to be an interesting year for um, Portland. This is a team that really has grown and stayed together. They have took bets and gambles on a lot of their players to pay them, and we're starting to see it pay off. Damian Lillard was able to play 80 games this year, gave you 35 minutes a game, 44 from the field, 36 from three, 91% from the free throw line. He was able to give you the 4.6 rebounds and the seven assists, which was a career high almost. Uh, well, actually it was. It just He, he should have just finished with seven assists, but he didn't. One steal and 25 points a game. Dame has shown that he has been one of the best offensive players in the league the last couple of seasons, being able to dominate the game any way he wants to. He showed that he has an improved as a finisher. He has other moves besides the pull-up three. That was just my biggest, well, ain't my problem. That's one thing I seem to hold in this game. He relied too much on the three, and I feel like he has diversified his game and his attack and added in more moves. Even though he did shoot eight three-pointers a game um, out of his 19 shots, I thought that he really showed the mid-range game with the step-back jumper, the spinning jumper, the floater game, the finishing game, and being more aggressive getting to the free throw line. I think that's what he needed to do so he wasn't as predictable and wasn't as easy to defend. You put a long body on him and let him force threes. That's what a lot of teams did. And now that he's the franchise player, it kind of forced and molded him into a different player because once you're getting double teamed and trapped, you have to find spots where you can be aggressive. You have to find spots where you can score at because it's going to be limited amount of opportunities for you to do so. And if that's the case, you have to be prepared for any situation. You have to be prepared to score in those situations. And I feel like he been could have did it, but these last couple of years he has done it and it has helped him score more points and remain around the same efficiency, even though he's not taking the same shots every single game. So I like the evolution. I like the mastery of Dame. And he has been one of the most loved and respected players around the league, being a guy that's a cold-blooded killer while also having big games against some of the best teams and not being scared and, and really being loyal and committed to Portland. He wants to be at, in Portland. He shows that even with his ability to sign his extension so early, he didn't even have to do that. But it just show you that he really loved playing in Portland. He really wants to be the guy to deliver them a champion since Bill Walton did it way back in the day. And that's his desire. That's his want. That's his will. And if all that is true, which he has proven so, 
Portland is going to be the place that he's going to stay at for a long time. And this extension is showing you that that's what both teams, both sides are on right now. They want Dane. They ain't want them, and that's why this contract happened, and that's why that paperwork got done today. And I'm not surprised. Like I said, he has shown no indication of wanting out. He is the best player. He is the franchise player of this team, and he plays like it. He has lived up to it so far. It's just that they just don't have a realistic amount of talent to win the title. Um, I don't really think that's Dame fault particularly, but I do give credit to the, the ownership that they've been trying to find players that they can add to this team to try to go for it and this was their best season adding Seth Curry adding Rodney Hood adding Ennis Cantor those are big moves showing you that you're committed to Damon CJ you believe in them and you feel like they can win you a title with the right amount of talent and they just waiting for that one moment where everything goes right and then they get the opportunity to go to the finals. And whether that's a trade or somebody coming available, or whether that's just luck going on their side like it did this year, if that's the case, then that's how they're going to win. They, they still have a lot more to do with this roster. They really want to have a, a legitimate chance of winning it all, but they have shown commitment to Damon CJ from the jump. And they've still been able to do that now. And they have delivered to the best of their ability. Same with Terry Stotts. I can't blame Terry Stotts. I have met and talked to Terry Stotts. And you can see that on my Facebook page that if you think I'm lying, I have met him and I have talked to him. And he's doing the best he can with the type of roster and the type of talent that he has. And, you know, he has been committed to Portland. They gave him an extension. So they believe in this team. They believe in the coach. And they do feel like one day, they will be able to win a title with this team. I just want to see what happens, though, because it's not easy to win the title. The West is brutal as this team struggled to even get out of the second round until this season. And that just shows you how tough it can really be. But I like what the ownership did this year. I like the fact that they really have went in to the best of their ability to try to win with this core. And with no Kevin Durant and possibly a, a, a no Clay Thompson, this is the opportunity for them of a lifetime to really put everything they have into Damon CJ to really go for that chance to go to the NBA Finals and have the opportunity to win a title. It's easier said than done, as we have seen. Um, but at the end of the day, all you can do is hope and put your cards and, and play them the right way and have that opportunity. It's just what you want to even win the title. And they got closer than ever this year, but they still was far away as they got swept to, with a no KD Golden State team. So it's unfortunate, but it happens. This is just a part of the journey. This is just a part of life. And this is just a part of how the NBA is. And I feel like they have really fought and stayed together and they have shown that they can, you know, be resilient. It just teams have been better and teams just look better than them. And that's why they haven't been able to get to their ultimate goal. And remember, it seems like the Rockets and stuff that just can't get over the hump either. So they're stuck in the same position like a lot of teams. And all of them going to be fighting in the bloodbath of the West to have a chance to win a title in the finals. And this is the move you make. You feel like Dane can be that guy, which he has shown that he possibly can be. And if he hasn't, he ain't that far from it. So all I can say is this is the commitment. This is the support. This is the love to this organization and the team. And both teams agreed to the deal. They like the number. They like what their both teams' sides are doing. And it was an easy decision for him to stay in Portland. So I really want to see what happens in the next four years as he gets into his 30s, as he ages. I think he'll be fine because he's a skilled player. He doesn't base his game off athleticism. He doesn't really base his game off finishing with dunks and highlights and stuff like that. He's more of a skilled, finesse player. And that can age well, but can they still stay in that championship contention as the game continues to evolve, as the game continues to change throughout these seasons? Um, can they really get a chance to really have that finals chance to win the title? So we won't know until it actually happens, but they show that they're a lot closer, but they also show they far away, more far away than we think. But this is an opportunity this year with no Golden State, the team that they have the most trouble with, the team that continues to put them out throughout these last five years. 
just like every other team in the West because they made it to five straight finals. This is the chance for them at a lifetime to really put all their cards and try to play a hand one last time. If it doesn't work, you still have Dame and CJ most likely going to be committed for another run at it the next two to three years. And this deal assure that you'll have Dame. Now it's just about getting CJ to commit. And now it's about putting the right team around them so they can have a legitimate chance of winning it all one day, one year. You just don't know when. Which is the part of being a fan. You watch and see. And that's what the Portland fans have to do. So let me know. Is it an overplay? Is it overrated? Underrated? And just let me know how you guys feel about Dane. And let me know how you feel about Portland. Teams, players don't really like going to Portland. They don't like living in Portland. And a lot of teams don't trade to Portland because they don't have enough young talent and assets that makes them really want to complete a trade. But now they have more young assets. Now they have more better contracts. And now they have Dane locked up. Maybe somebody would eventually go to Portland and take them to the next level and make them a contender. But like I said, as a fan, you just have to wait and see what happens. And when the opportunity comes, they got to take full advantage of it and win it all. If not, they can be just like the Rockets last year. You win 65, you dominate, come up short, and then you don't even get to the Western Conference Finals the next year. So that's that, that you have to take advantage of the opportunity when it does come. So let me know what you guys think um, in the comment section below. Check out my Facebook page, analysisplayground.com. Link will be in the description, comment section below. Check out my website, analysisplayground.com. Link will be in the description, comment section below. Thanks for everybody that likes on Facebook. Thanks for everybody that likes the videos. Thanks for everybody that comments. I like the activity that you guys have shown. I answer comments that make sense, if that makes sense. And also, at the end of the day, if you like this video, check out my older videos on my channel. I have many playlists. I break down rookies. I break down players. I break down summer league. I do cover the draft, and I got a mock draft up already. Not only that, I do podcasts, and I also talk about the game of basketball, whether it comes to summer league, free agency, trade deadline, buyouts, and also I cover top 10 discussions and stuff like that. So you like this type of video, you like the NBA, check out my older videos and my playlists. I enjoy making these videos. You guys enjoy watching. I'm going.